Every single business needs to be using buzzsumo.com. I can't live without this program. I think it's in my top three softwares that I use right here. So I'm gonna be explaining to you how you're gonna be using buzzsumo in the strategy of reaching out to your tribe. So how buzzsumo works is it finds the most popular articles shared on social media, for example, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all of the above. However, what it also finds out is what other people have shared in the past. And that's really, really important. So basically, what I do with Buzzsumo is, let's talk about this video again, we're promoting this uh, content promotion video. I go to Buzzsumo and I type in content promotion on the screen. So let me put this up again, so you can see. So we go to Buzzsumo and I'm gonna write in content promotion Buzzsumo. And pretty much what Buzzsumo is gonna go, is gonna find out all the top articles that people have shared on Buzzsumo. But this is what you wanna do. You want to find the top three articles being shared around the net about, for example, content promotion. There's a key feature in Buzzsumo where you can click view shares. And this is some real ninja stuff over here. When you click view shares, it shows all the people on Twitter that share this exact same article. And what you want to do is you want to find out their email. If you can't get their email, find out or just get their Twitter account but preferably you want to find out their email. There's many different softwares out there. For example, one, a really good one is Rapportive, R-A-P-P-O-R-T-I-V-E.com. Uh, it's a Chrome Gmail plugin. You plug it in and you guess the email. If you're right, it shows you all the social profiles of the individual. So you get that email of all the people that have shared your stuff and you can outsource this to a VA. 95% of my stuff is VA. There's a lot of SOPs. Uh, that I share with my uh, other clients. What's up guys? So once you find out the list of everybody that shared the same article, what you wanna do is now, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be contacted. So this is what you wanna say. Hey Mike, just I'm assuming the guy's name is Mike. Hey Mike, my name's Amir, and I just saw you share this article last week about uh, seven tips for content promotion. Well, I just released this brand new video that expands on that. Uh, I thought that your tribe might like it. Uh, would you like me to send you the link? Have a great day. Looking forward to your reply. This is really important over here that I want to talk. There's something really important over here that I want to talk about. I said, would you like me to send the link? Now here is the link. Would you like me to? So it's permission based marketing. You're pretty much emailing every single person that shared a similar article as your article and telling them, I've created this new guide, I've expanded on from the old guide and I thought that your tribe, your audience might get some value from this. Would you like me to send you the link? Permission, permission, permission. As opposed to, here's my article, share my stuff. Here's my article, share my stuff. Nobody wants to share your stuff. Nobody cares about you. You have to be providing value towards people and you have to be always, and I'll repeat, always asking for permission. So if the person says yes, you send them the article and you thank them. And you wanna do this for like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 people. But you gotta think about the compound effect. Imagine now out of 70 people, you're, or 50 people, your conversion rate is in five, 10%, and you get like five to 10 people sharing it. And out of those five to 10 people, maybe each one has an audience of 10,000 to 100,000. You see the compound effect over here. It's hard work, but this is the work, this is the necessary work to start promoting your content.